so I'm here with Jules. There she is. Uh, we are here together. Uh, we are in the Jules room. You can Hi, kind Jules. of see it like that. If you look at it like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, she is gonna talk with me today um, about selfies and about things that she's up to and all of that good stuff. So Jules, I'm gonna uh, throw it off to you just in case someone doesn't know you. That'd be crazy. Mm. Uh, but like, who are you and what drives you? Yeah, so I'm, oh god, who are you? <laughs> you can start with your name or, or, or. Hi, I'm Jules. Um, I do Booze Light Year with Kaja. Mm -hmm. We also do Comedians On here and there, and we got exciting new things coming up as well that are in the works. Um, but I'm an actress, came from, I reign from Minnesota. Uh, came out here for acting. I live in LA now mm -hmm. and just rocking and rolling on that. I like kitties. <laughs> I like glitter and I dream. My my aspiration is to be a real life Disney princess. Oh shit. No, not but <laughs> Some, okay. Something along okay. those lines. Okay. So what? So what drives you then? You you do all these great things. You're also a producer, which you didn't. Mention. Oh yeah, Come producer, on. writer, comedian, mm -hmm. dancer, sometimes singer. I don't I don't choose to, <laughs> but it happens <laughs> when you're forced. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what drives me? Um, I think because I, I just had I have really great family. I have a really great family, and uh, I think they taught me well. Um, and so I, I, having just, being really grounded and having good roots, I think that uh, what drives me is just being a good person. Person? <laughs> I hate Andy roots. I think that was your, maybe your Minnesota accent. I think so. Being a good person um, and just treating people well, I think is what drives me. Okay, cool. Uh, so I've been on your Instagram, as everybody should. Insta. And uh, you take some selfies, girl. I got so, selfies on that. <laughs> so how often do you think you take selfies? You don't have to know the real answer, but what, do you, what would you imagine? Yeah, how often? I guess I don't know a timeline. I think I take them just like whenever I'm feeling pretty or there's like good lighting mm -hmm. um, or whenever there's a cat involved mm. okay. is when I take selfies. Yeah, I think you take, I've seen some animal selfies. There's, it was also a dog for a little bit. Oh was... yeah, yeah, like I guess, yeah. Any Anything that's fluffy, I'm totally okay with. Okay, so real talk, do you like selfies and why or why not? Do I like selfies? Mm -hmm. I think they're okay, like I'm not opposed to them, um, but I think everything's good like in balance, you mm -hmm. know? Got a couple of selfies, like maybe throw a plant on your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing what people are up to and I love seeing, um, uh, you know, their interactions and who's important to them. So I think that like family selfies are great too. Do those count as selfies? I, I right, don't like, know. People, like, is it is it just the fact that your arm is being held up? Is that what makes it a selfie, or...? I've heard they've been called groupies. Groupies! Yeah. But that's... Isn't that a fish? I think it's called a grouper. A, a group is <laughs> a fish, but groupies follow around bands. Oh, so that's what you may good be point. Of. Oh, I'm not very good at holding this. It's hard. It's very hard. It's... Okay, so something that you hit on, which I talk about uh, in my vlog, is that you want that human connection. You want to see what everybody's doing. You want to connect with people and you're like, oh, I think, you know, family selfies are a good thing. And that's kind of uh, what I'm, what am I trying to say? That's kind of what I talk about is that selfies, the reason people don't really like them and they're not necessarily that great is because you don't learn anything about what the person is up to, right? Yeah, you totally. just get them looking, you know, hot or cute or whatever it is. So, uh, like thinking about that, how, like, how do you think you could make selfies work better, either for you or for somebody else out there? Oh God! Longer well, you named arms. one of them. Longer <laughs> arms. <laughs> you named one of them, which is like, uh, you take uh, selfies with your family. Yeah, yeah, like with family and with friends and with cats, with your cat, with cats, right? cats, and cats, and dogs, and bunnies. Right, and um, anything furry. You said because I think totally. You know what that means to me, and when you post that, is is you're not just saying here I am, I'm you know look good in this lighting, but I love this cat, or I love animals, or I love my family. And yeah, it kind of gives an opinion with it. Exactly. Yeah. So that is exactly gives an opinion with it. I think that's a great statement and a great way to think about it. Is when you take a selfie, also give your opinion about what it is that you're doing or totally. what's going on. Yeah. Not to say that um, I think it's great, you know, when when girls 
uh, feel beautiful. I think that that's that's kind of hard. It's it's a hard line, you know, because I think I think it's really easy for girls this day and age to get down on themselves. And I'm sure it was every day and age that <laughs> it was easy for them to do that. But uh, I think celebrating that you're beautiful is awesome. Uh, just balance it out with <laughs> plants and food and cats and and family. Yeah, I actually think that's another great way to think about it is to celebrate that you're beautiful or that you are even having a moment where you feel great about yourself. And well, yeah, that's that's what I was thinking is that like a lot of the times when I do end up taking a, a selfie, it's because like I feel awesome that day, and it's not even necessarily that I like I. I feel like I look beautiful, I feel beautiful on the inside because I'm doing what I love. A lot of times it's like a day that I'm shooting and I'm just super excited to shoot. Mm -hmm. um, or like I'm back home with my family or I'm on vacation. Like it's it's the times when I feel the most fulfilled often times is it's when I end up taking a selfie. Wow. Yeah. I, I didn't know that but I think that that's great <laughs> and I think that that's, I don't know, I think I'm that definitely changes the way that I will look at your selfies from now on, and hopefully the way that I look at selfies in general. Because sometimes I think I do place a judgment on them. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely. Like, yeah, I'm not saying not I'm to. above that. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Totally. Like, there's, you know, there's like certain people that you're like, oh, okay, Trish. Another <laughs> selfie? I don't know any Trisha. Right. That's no why I said that name. If I do, I'm sorry. I wasn't specifically talking about you. Uh, no, but absolutely, there's there's people that I'm like, ah, show me something else, because I'm a little bored with it. Right, yeah. I mean, Kim Kardashian made a book that's just entirely uh, selfies. Is that what it was? Yeah, I think so. I was afraid to open it. I thought it might be like a lot of butt shots. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a little, I don't know. But then again, like, people do that for a living, you know, modeling, they get right. paid to do that. So, so where, right. it's hard because, you know, we only have 140 characters to express all of the things that we're feeling. Oh my, what? Who's here? Who is Was this, this planned? I don't know. Is it a kitty? <laughs> I hope it's a kitty. Oh. What's going on? Is Ellen gonna come out? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hello? Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, thank you so, so much. Can you do it? Um, you want me to do it? I think you, you should probably do it. Yeah, well, I'll have you come do it. Do we want to do, yeah, do we want to film this or do we want to pause? This. Okay, here. If you want to take it, it's actually the one in my bedroom if you want to come over here. It's not Ellen DeGeneres, but still very exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna get my window fixed because oh. I don't have a screen on my window. Oh yeah, keep the bugs out and stuff. Yeah, and keep me from falling outside. I, I really thought this was planned. I thought you were like gonna bring me a box of kittens. <laughs> or like Ellen DeGeneres was gonna come in. Oh man, that would have been great. That would have been truly incredible. Oh. It's just, uh, just the window. Thing. Still exciting. Very exciting. I didn't know if this was gonna happen today because I didn't email you. Oh, okay. So, okay sorry, okay. I would have. No, no, no. This is planned better. That was so easy. He just did that in a second. Yeah. You wanna leave it open? Awesome. Uh, Are you close? We can close it. Yeah. Yeah, because I have the air on and sound. Awesome. Thank you so, so, so much. <laughs> Thanks for fixing that. Have a great day. Have a happy Thanksgiving, too. Thanks. Nice. All right. Nice. <laughs> so that's fixed. That's done. That's funny, because now, now that we're like having this conversation about selfies, I was like especially aware that we were filming ourselves as that was going on. And I was like, oh my god, we probably look like the most narcissistic, <laughs> like annoying 20-somethings mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, that's also interesting that you, I didn't think about it, but I'm having people that I interview film themselves. Uh, and I'm, yeah, so that's weird that it's like yeah. a, almost a nurse. I got super self-conscious, so yeah, yeah, I was like, what? He's gonna think <laughs> I'm so full of myself. <laughs> this is professional, I swear. That's so interesting, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, yeah, when people who are around who aren't necessarily a part of like the business or something like that. Yeah, well, makes... and I get, I, I don't know how people can like Snapchat. Like I always see them doing it mm. at restaurants or like in line at the bank. And I, I get so uncomfortable. Like I don't want people 
watching me take a picture of myself. Mm -hmm. Cause then just feel, just feel super narcissistic. <laughs> it makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Um, okay, okay. So Detour. Sorry. Yeah, no, but I mean on the along that same line of of feeling maybe narcissistic or things like that. I was just kind of thinking, trying to think of games or something that folks could play yeah. uh, in taking selfies. Again, with the goal of making them more interesting, more fun, and more about your life. Uh, so something that I know people have done before is they take pictures with a, like a stuffed animal or something like that, and they take it to different locations. And that uh, stuffed animal, <laughs> you really like that's that. That's so cute. <laughs> I'm all for fun. that one. <laughs> You have me an animal <laughs> and stuffed. <laughs> um, but it's always in the picture. Um, but yeah, the animal's always in the picture. Do you have any games? I'm trying to think right now. I mean, I'm asking do you, but also like, let's try to come up with some games that people could play or like, and when I say play, I mean use to help them take better selfies. I think that you should, because I am always in, always noticing other people's beauty, but I don't always like tell them about it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm like, oh, that girl looks really pretty today. I think that you should surprise them and do like <laughs> a flash selfie <laughs> and be like, you look really pretty today. Let's get a selfie. And then and then you're you know celebrating their beauty along with your own. I think I that'd love be that awesome. idea. I, I love that'd that be idea. so fun. Yeah, it's a compliment, <laughs> and you're like, I love it so much. I want to do this thing. Absolutely. That's a great idea. That's a great game. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to play that this week. Surprise selfie. <laughs> Surprise selfie, and I'm gonna post the pictures on Instagram. I dare you to also so play this game. I'm so down. This week, I'm <laughs> posting pictures so on Instagram. In. Okay, great. So we have at least one game. Um, let's see, another game. I thought I was just thinking about it. Oh, okay, I got one. Well, this year it doesn't really rain in LA, but I was thinking if you're somewhere where it rains or snows, mm -hmm. if you can find different water sources and then take your selfie and what you look like in different water sources with the reflection, right? Oh, that's cool. Okay, yeah, I get so, what you're saying now. So ways, so maybe the maybe the game isn't water sources. Maybe the game is taking only taking selfies if it's a reflection. So nice. So right. So a mirror mirror selfies are kind of overdone. So I'm not necessarily gonna say mirror selfies, but <laughs> water or metal or cars. Um, or maybe if it's a different type of mirror, like a car mirror or... Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, something, something like that. Something creative. Yeah. Yeah, just seeing yourself in a different light. Yeah, seeing yourself yeah. in a different light. Okay. I like that Absolutely. one too. I'll play that one too. Okay, great. So I will, uh, let's I'll both also try to find some different ways to do selfie games. Let's see, anything else that we can think of? Oh gosh. Every puppy you pass, <laughs> <laughs> you must get a selfie. <laughs> Every single one. Even if it's your own. God, you're gonna have so many pictures of Neptune. I already have so many pictures of Neptune. Oh, God. I'm all about it. Okay, okay. I, I do like that game. Uh, I think I like the other two better. The other two <laughs> seem more doable. Yes. Um, That one seems a little crazy. A little cray cray. But yeah, so what? That's a good one, though. Is there any other... It could be like something that you accomplished that day. I think it would just be nice to make selfies about um, your accomplishments and your achievements that day. That's great. Uh, that's a great one. I think that adds to what you were saying. You were saying I take pictures, or I take selfies when I'm feeling very confident. Yeah. Um, and I think even adding to that, if maybe there's a, some way you can get a visual representation of why you're feeling confident in your mm -hmm. own selfie, that would be kind of cool. Totally. Um, so that's also a great one. Um, also, yeah, if you do something that you've never done before, make sure you get a selfie of that and what's going on. Um, yeah, I don't know if there are any other. If you have any other games, uh, let us know what they are, because we only have like four, which is like nothing. Um, upside down selfie. Upside down selfies. Yeah. Just yeah, but it has places. to be upside down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Get creative. So get creative. Yeah, you could be on a chair and leaning upside down, or you could be on a bed and leaning off of it upside down, but you can only take selfies upside down. Okay, I'm into that. Um. Oh my god. Yeah, that's all. I mean, lot. I know I know people do like the no makeup Monday and everything. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to be real and end all that Photoshop things like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
you could do you could do the opposite and be like how many filters can i put <laughs> on one picture only filter friday <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah do a no makeup monday and a only filter friday okay only filter friday i'm into both of those creative oh. okay cool 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 cool, cool. um so yeah so there's a ton of games yeah, if you guys have any more, please send them. If you ladies or gents have any more, please send them. Uh, I would love to try more games, and I will invite Jules to try them as well. Um, so we're talking about you. Some of the things you said were weird, taking a picture upside down or different. Uh, what is, do you think is the weirdest selfie you've ever taken? Oh gosh. Oh boy. Um. I. Oh. I did take an upside down one with somebody else. We were like swinging on the monkey bars. Okay. It was a little, uh, but weirdest. Uh, most interesting, craziest. Most interesting. Most, the one you're most proud of maybe? I mean, they're, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm really proud of those moments. Uh, let me think for a sec. I, uh, a couple of them with my cats have been pretty darn interesting. <laughs> yeah. At least I think they are. Probably <laughs> nobody else thinks they are. Um, but most interesting selfie was probably... I was, I was, it wasn't a selfie, but I was on Periscope. Mm -hmm. And we were at a geyser, mm -hmm. like a, a hot spring yeah. geyser thing. And that was really exciting because there was like this beautiful natural occurrence going on behind me right and I was taking a video at the same time nice. but I have a hard I have a hard time with that because then I feel like I'm not fully experiencing the super cool thing that is going on so yeah I think that's a great point and something I'd love to touch on more right now mm -hmm. is is that taking pictures and taking selfies takes you kind of out of things and uh, social media is like super hard like that. So can you talk about a time that either you've struggled with social media or social media wasn't your friend and just, you know, affected you negatively? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's really hard because like when I'm on vacation, I, I want to take these photos to remember it. Um, but where's the, where's the happy medium in between taking photos and being connected to social media and really fully experience, experiencing uh, the trip that you're on, the adventure that you're having? I, I had a friend recently who posted, she was like, oh, uh, left my phone in LA while I went to Malibu, not Malibu, something more exciting like that. Like she went to Mexico or something. Okay. <laughs> Um, and she left her phone at home, and I was like, oh, I'm so jealous of that. I really wish I could do that, um, because I totally, I, I, I like Instagram. I do, I really, really like it, mm -hmm. but I've even made myself this last week take a break from it. This is kind of crazy that we're talking about this, because <laughs> I was like, oh, it's just too much. It's, um, I was spending so much time editing promos for the projects that I'm yep. working on that uh, I didn't have time for anything else in the day, and I was like, whoa. Pump the brakes. Hold yeah. it up. <laughs> hey. Uh, so I, I, it's it's hard. It's a hard line to. Yeah, I, I think. Know. I mean, I think what you're talking about is uh, super interesting and super important. Finding a balance between mm -hmm. your real life and social media, and because you have a ton of fans, and they, you know, if you went to Mexico, I would want to see your trip to Mexico, mm -hmm. and I'm sure everybody else would want to see your trip to Mexico. And so that luxury of not bringing your phone and not posting, but also then kind of feeling bad because people miss you or want to see what you're up to in a totally positive way. Yeah, and I mean, like, I want those memories for myself. Right. I, I want to hold on to those moments, especially, like, when I go home and I see family because, uh, oh, this is getting dark. <laughs> you never know, you know, you never know how long people are going to be around, so you want to enjoy them while they're there, but you also want to have these tangible uh, memories with them, you know, like the photos. It's always nice to look back on. Yeah. Uh, I think it's, I think it's kind of funny. You know, there's the meme or the saying like Insta or didn't happen. Right. So like, you have to take a picture of it and show it, or else it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And I struggle with that <laughs> because part of me thinks it's totally true. Like, I want to post, you know, the fun things that I'm doing in my life. Right. Um. But then it's kind of taking me out of the fun things that I'm doing. Right. A lot of times I get, uh, if I if I go, 
if I have something fun that I'm doing, I want like one good photo. And once I have the one good photo, I feel like I can enjoy the rest of the time. But mm -hmm. until I get that one good photo, I'm totally focused on like, oh, where's the lighting? <laughs> good. And like, what's, you know, what angle are we going to do? Mm -hmm. And like, what should we be doing? You know, like if we're at Disneyland, I'm like, oh, let's go to the castle like, real quick and go get it by the castle instead of like just letting the day pan out how it's going to and really enjoying the people that you're there with. Right. So. Well, I think there is a, a, like a nugget of wisdom in that in that if you can set a you know goal for yourself mm -hmm. or not even goal but just a maximum for yourself of I'm gonna get or minimum I guess is a better way to say it if I can get one good photo I'm gonna let my phone go and I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the time and maybe that's you know the compromise when you go to Mexico or something like that where you say I'm gonna you know I'm gonna have my phone just in case I want to take pictures for me I'm gonna have one good picture uh, for the day and the rest of the time you know I'm gonna focus on what's fun and what's right in front of me yeah so I, I like that a lot. Yeah, that's good. So what is, so in terms of social media, you said you really like Instagram. Do you mm -hmm. have a favorite thing about social media? Some people really love Facebook and that it connects them to friends or even just acquaintances. And it's mm -hmm. a good way to maybe share without giving your phone number or email. Yeah, uh, totally. Do you have a favorite thing about social media? I do like that I'm able to keep updated with like what my family's doing because mm -hmm. I'm so far away from my family that uh, it's nice to see what they're up to without like having to give them a call and talk for four hours. Right. Um, but I really like Instagram because I feel like it's a creative outlet. I'm a painter um, as well as an actress. So mm -hmm. to me, photography is, is like a real life picture. Um, so I really like planning where everything is going to be. Not to say that I'm good at it. You know, some people can like <laughs> post like a fork and make it look so good. I'm like, I'm so jealous of your fork. That's the other hard thing too with, with Instagram. I guess this is a little off track. Um, but uh, comparing yourself with people Ooh, like... It's a big one. It's, yeah, and it's something that I, I do have to remind myself is like other people's beauty is not the lack of my own. Mm. Um, like I can, I should be able to appreciate that, you know, there's other beautiful people in this world without it being, without comparing myself to that and being like, oh, it's, they're, they're beautiful because they're beautiful means that I'm missing something. Right. And that's not necessarily what it is. They're beautiful because humans are beautiful. Right, right, right. <laughs> and you can be beautiful too. Like it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're any less beautiful because they're a beautiful human being. So, and right. that's something I do have to remind myself. Right. And I think that's something just with Instagram and social media in general that it, you can get caught up in. Cause I, you know, we just talked about it. You post when you're confident or mm -hmm. feeling your best. Yeah. And now imagine not feeling good and looking at Instagram and it's everybody being a rock star. Yeah. And, but you got to remember that people are posting the, the best moments of their day. They're right. doing what they're doing, what we're doing. <laughs> like right. we're all doing the same thing. <laughs> right. Exactly. We're all posting exactly. the really, the really fun, exciting moments of our lives. Mm -hmm. So, so everybody has hardships. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's okay that we don't <laughs> post those hardships all the time right. and talk about them all the time. It gets a little, sometimes there are those people that only like talk negatively and they are always um, challenging other people. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like that there's like people who are positive and posting all the fun things, but keep, keep in mind that we all have hardships going on in our life. Right. Right. So oh speaking, God, tired. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to do this for a long time. Uh, speaking of hardships, uh, it was kind of a great lead into my next question, mm -hmm. which is uh, in yourself, what do you feel like you've had to fight against? Like maybe, you know, you thought, oh, I'm never going to make it because I'm too short or because I'm, you know, not funny enough or something like that. But it, has there been something in your life that you've really felt like you had to say, hey, Jules, cut it out. You're not this and you can do it. Absolutely. I mean, all of those things that you <laughs> just mentioned, I at one point in my life have felt. I, uh, I'm really driven. I'm really determined. And with that, sometimes I become a bit of a perfectionist and I'm constantly reminding myself that perfection isn't attainable. Mm -hmm. uh, but as I was a gymnast, um, for 12 years and with that we were taught not that practice makes perfect, but that perfect practice makes perfect uh, So kind of having that drilled into my brain It's hard to shake it sometimes and and I get really down on myself. I'm very hard on myself um, it, About like I said all the things that you listed, you know yeah. being being trying to be as funny as possible and and pretty and uh, 
uh, successful. It's, yeah. It's especially like as an actress, you know, a lot of my friends, that's not a, it's not considered a traditional route in Minnesota. So, yeah. uh, you know, seeing, seeing their PhDs and all that stuff mm-hmm. and then being like, well, what do I have to show for myself? But, uh, then I you know, remind myself that I have a lot to show for myself and, um, just trying not to get negative. Yeah. In terms of that as well, uh, it's, you've done a great job, I think, of staying positive. Um, and all of that in, so there's also though the world that can get you down. Yeah. Uh, and have you ever, you know, outside of that, you said you're very driven, you are very you know, goal oriented. Have there been obstacles, you know, in the world that you've had to get around? And can you talk about that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I had a really tough couple of years, um, where the world was just kind of being a butt <laughs> and, I, I had a great high school experience and loved growing up in Minnesota and was surrounded by people I trust and I loved and then when I came out to California it was tough. Mm-hmm. I knew it was going to be hard, everybody told me that it was going to be hard but I didn't realize just exactly how hard um, and it was, a, it was a big realization, a big smack in the face <laughs> by life. Yeah. Uh, so totally, totally experienced that. Um, Sarah, well, did, I mean, how did you feel like you got through that? Did you lean on your family? Did you, did you were you able to make friends? Yeah. Or you, did you just, you know? Well, at first, at first, my way of dealing with it was not quite so positive and productive. Mm-hmm. I think I really, I isolated myself and I fell into depression and, um, you know, whatever other symptoms of depression, I had those as well. Um, and I really, there was a point there was a point where I hit rock bottom um, and I had to look within myself and be like, Jules, nobody is going to do this for you. Nobody is going to cut these unhealthy relationships off for you and mm-hmm. nobody's going to make success for you. Um, nobody's going to pay your bills for you. And I think the biggest realization that really hurt was that um, sometimes your family isn't right. Mm. Um, or sometimes they don't have all the answers and that's okay. Like we're all human and, and they shouldn't, they shouldn't be telling you how to live all the time. Yeah. Um, and oh, not to say that my, my family was like telling me how to live. I I mean, it was more like I would come to them with a problem and they wouldn't know how to solve it. Mm -hmm. And then I would get frustrated that they didn't know how to solve it. Mm -hmm. And in reality, I had to find that within myself. I had to solve these problems for myself. I had to grow up. Yeah. And I had to get myself out of this funk because nobody was going to do it for me. Nobody can want something more for you than what you want it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it took a lot and it took a couple of years to really get myself out of that funk and recover from all the things that had had been taking me down and then obviously it still comes up every now and then but yeah. finally finally I make my own choices and I I have my own opinions and I stand up for those opinions because mm-hmm. I used to be so nice where I won't want to hurt anybody's feelings but then with that I would hurt myself because I would ignore the things that were important to me um, but then it 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 gets to a point where I had to be like, it's okay if these people don't like me. Yeah. I have to hold true to what I think is right and feel is right. Yeah. And so if they if they don't support that, then whatever, they don't need to be in my life. And that was really hard because I wanted everyone to like me. Yeah, that's powerful <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was a hard couple of years. Yeah. But I'm finally... Like, this year's been great. <laughs> good, good, and I good, look good. forward to more good years, but it took a long time. <laughs> good, yeah. I mean, I think that's a common misconception about entertainers and even, like, you know, stars or, or just everybody. It's that, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's that, uh, what, there's some quote where uh, she's an overnight success. She's, you know, been in the business for 10 years. And it's like, it takes 10 yeah. years <laughs> to become totally. an overnight success. It totally does. Well, <laughs> I gave, I was giving myself three to five years. I was like, Jules, if, you know, three to five years, you're not there. Like, go back to Minnesota and, you know, you're good at a lot of other things. Find something else to do. Um, and I think I even did take that moment where I was like, ah, do I want to keep doing this? Because it, it's really hard. But yeah. then 
when I was taking a break from it, I thought about it every single day. Yeah. It was on my mind all the time, and yeah. I it was it became so clear to me that this is what I'm meant to do, and this is where I'm meant to be. Uh, and that was that was a cool realization. But I yeah, think it, it came from myself. Yeah. That was what I wanted to achieve, and it was it was a nice. Was a gratifying moment. Yeah. Well, I think, I mean, that's something that I'm trying to do in, you know, this whole process and, you know, in interviewing people that I think are really awesome and amazing and great and, and really driven um, is that a lot of stuff comes from within you. And I think people are afraid to recognize that and afraid to trust themselves and afraid to make decisions on their own, you know, kind of what you were yeah. talking about with your family. So, yeah. You know, you've shared some very incredible and powerful lessons that you've learned. Do you, can you think of one that was maybe the most important that you had to, like, most important lesson that you taught yourself or learned from, you know, just living? Yes. I think it, I think it kind of goes back to what I was saying and like, don't be afraid to be yourself because if you're trying to be somebody else, they're already there. They already exist. Mm -hmm. um, and and it, there's nothing fresh about that. You gotta be there for yourself because breakups happen and, and uh, friendships are lost sometimes mm -hmm. um, and just shitty things <laughs> happen in life. And when it comes down to it, you gotta be there and you gotta stand up for what you believe and you gotta um, create a world, create relationships that you know are going to be there to support you in those times. Don't rely on other people to, to make those things happen. You just got to do it for yourself. Yeah, I love that lesson. You got to be there for yourself. You really I, do. You know, because what you, what you said, nobody's going to want what you want more than you. So. No, not even your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's probably the closest you'll get. So like, if your mom finally gets sick and tired of answering your phone calls, like, probably look within yourself and figure what's going on. I think another thing was like, uh, laugh it off. Mm. Like, let it go. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I think that's it. I think that's my okay. big one. Okay. Is, is just f be free. Be free. Don't worry so much because, because anxiety isn't going to get you anywhere. It's yeah. not going to solve your problems. Uh, figure out what you need in that moment and then focus on that one thing that you need in that moment and then move on to the next thing. Don't get so overwhelmed by the big picture. Um, a lot of times life ends up working itself out. Mm -hmm. And so don't be afraid to like, ride it and just <laughs> let it figure it out. But also be driven and be hard workers <laughs> and do your homework. <laughs> so many life lessons. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Uh, along that, I mean, you know, it's all great to learn life lessons and to be driven and all of that. Um, but you know, you were saying you got yourself out of a very hard time. And so I would, you know, kind of ask what inspires you? How, how did you get out of that? What, what drives you to be so passionate? You talked about how, you know, you took a break and you just thought about it every day. Um, but what, what is it that drives you to be an actress and to do all the incredible things that you're doing right now? I love making people laugh. I just do. I've always loved it ever since I was a little girl. Um, I would love, uh, I had, I went to gymnastics camp and my favorite part of gymnastics camp was that we got to do little plays, uh, during, during like our big finale. And that's what I loved the most out of like the hundreds of dollars that my parents spent on this gymnastics camp. I like doing the play. Um, uh, so I think, uh, find, find, oh, what drives me specifically. What inspires though, right? you, yeah. What inspires me. What inspires me. Um. I love movies. Mm -hmm. I love telling stories. Um, I love playing characters. I love living in other worlds. I love playing dress up. <laughs> um, I just love it. I love it. it. It fulfills me. And I, I always, I love the adrenaline rush that mm -hmm. it gives me. Um, and the connection that you can make with people that you don't even know. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's so special sometimes. Yeah. That's what drives me. Okay. Along that note of things that you love to do mm -hmm. or you're driven by, I mean, you mentioned movies, um, but this is kind of just a, a fun question and it's basically what would you recommend? It can be something that people already do all the time. It can be something that you don't think people do enough. 
Uh, but what do you, what would you recommend? If you could, you know, blanket statement, if you could just go around recommending this because you think people should do it more, uh, what would that be? Uh, do what you love and be nice to people. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, can we go back to the Inspire one? We can. Okay. Um, because I think I was very, like, focused on acting. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think really what inspires me and what drives me is just, like, being a good human being. Okay. <laughs> and being nice yeah. to other people and sharing what you have and loving and being kind. I think that's so important. Yeah. Um, because that's all you can be in this world. Like, that's really, really, like, you can't take the rest of it with you. The only thing that you can take with you is, like, was it you were the best person that you could be. You were the best version of yourself that you could be. Yeah. Um... And yeah, nice. I think that's it. Sorry, what was the no, other? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, you just, just a fun, just a fun for all. You know, something that you do that you love to do that you would totally recommend that other people check out, or you think that people don't do enough of, uh, and you want people to do more of it. Seeing movies. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I Who think knows? it's, I think it's just love others, and that, and that's not to say. I mean, be careful with <laughs> that. But I think, I think love others while still respecting yourself, mm -hmm. um, while still loving yourself. But I, uh, a lot of times when I'm super down or super sad, it's because I haven't just like gone outside and had a daily interaction with another human being. Yeah. Um, even if, even if you're introverted, like there's little things that you can do. It just smile, mm -hmm. smile, smile at more. Okay. <laughs> Be nice to people. Don't road rage too much. Right. I think that's it. I think that's a great one. I mean, they there's, I don't know if it's in the Bible, I don't even know where it is, but there's some quote about love and, oh, maybe it's the Beatles, I and love. in the end, in the end, the love you, uh, I think it's the love you take is equal to the love you make, or the love you make is equal to the love you take. I don't know, maybe it's... When you do little things for people, it makes you feel so much better. Right. Um, uh, any any time that a friend comes to me and is like, oh, I'm really stuck in a rut. I feel like I'm falling into depression. I'm like, uh, put. I always recommend to put the focus on other people mm. um, because a lot of times, uh, everybody. I can't stress it enough. Everybody has hardships. Everybody's going through something. Um, so so don't be so quick to lash out at people because you don't know what's going on in their day. Right. Um, uh, they they might have just heard the worst news in the world and they just don't have the patience to not cut in line or something <laughs> like right. that. And just sometimes like let it go, let it fly. It's okay. Cool. I'm into that. I'm very into that. Um, and then last question. You made it to the end. Uh, this is the, probably the most important one. Uh, hot dessert or cold dessert? Oh my god. <laughs> All desserts. <laughs> All of the time in my mouth. <laughs> Both of them. Both of them. Simultaneously <laughs> in my face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, do, you, do you have a favorite dessert though? Ooh. I love cookie dough ice cream. Cookie oh, dough ice cream. oh no, you want to uh -oh. know what's good? Blue Moon ice cream. It's blue ice cream. Uh -huh. I think it's like almond flavor. Okay. Um, amaretto. Amaretto. Yeah, Amarato? something like that. Is that a is that a thing? I, it is. Did I, make I don't. It up? I don't know. No, it is a thing. Uh, I think it's amaretto, and I. But I think it's like a. Is that like liqueur? Liqueur? Oh, oh okay. No, it's not that. Marzipan. Marzipan is almond e flavor. Is it okay? Maybe it's that. Um, I don't know. It's a blue ice cream. It's really yummy. And it's called Blue Moon ice cream. It's called Blue Moon ice cream. Um, How would you get it? I I think it's only like I don't know. I always end up finding it at like little local ice cream shops. Okay, I've never um, even heard of it. There was a this. place at the Mall of America. Oh, the uh, Mall when of I was America. a little girl. Yeah, and you, sure. We could always sure, get sure, it there. Sure. Um, but uh, this little local little local ice cream shop okay. called Schoolhouse Scoop has it in Hastings. Great. Sometimes it's called Play-Doh and it has like cookie dough chunks in the Blue Moon ice oh cream, which is just yeah, like, that's ah! your heaven. It's all of it all together. Okay, so cold desserts was the answer to that. <laughs> all right, well thank you so much uh, for Gosh. joining me. What are you What are you up to right now? Where can everybody see you and find you? Absolutely, find me on Instagram, since we talked about <laughs> right, it so much. on Instagram. Uh, right now I'm working on my own, I produced my own web series. Mm -hmm. um, right now it's the Jules Project. Okay. The name might be changing, but also I'm starting a vlog with Robbie. You mm -hmm. know Robbie. I love Robbie. Um, he was the former host, former, former host mm -hmm. of Equals 3. 
Uh, so we'll be starting a vlog and that'll all be on my Instagram. So Perfect. check that out. Okay. Well, cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah. And I'll see you. I'll catch you on the flip side. I'll have to <laughs> catch you when we put the camera down. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see my selfie video, which I incorporated Jules in, click on the left. If you want to go to Jules' amazing, incredible channel, please click on the right. And don't forget to click below and subscribe. Thanks so much.